As we continue with our visit to North America's finest drive to fisheries, we head north to the best smallmouth fishing in the world. All around the Great Lakes, smallmouth populations are booming. Not only are the fish plentiful, but they're also some of the biggest smallmouths in North America right now, with many areas producing fish that surpass seven pounds. To capture the flavor of these fisheries, we head to two top areas. First up, the Buffalo Niagara region of Lake Erie. Boy, you know, as far as a driving to a place, there you just can't beat it. Buffalo, there's the skyline right there. We're down here a mile or two out in the lake. We've fished the break walls. And uh, just look at these fish. It's just fabulous. You know, oh, I've been coming over here, driving this way for a number of years. And uh, every year they seem to get even a little bit bigger. You know, there's just so many big, big fish. Look at the color. Wow, oh, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. But, uh, you know, they just keep, you know, getting larger and larger, but there's also young fish coming into the system. So for years to come, it's just going to be fabulous fishing. And early in the spring, you really got a whole pre-spawn concentration of fish. But, you know, really all summer long, you can have a great, great time here. They have some success in the bass tournaments. As well as you got steelhead running in the Niagara, you got lake trout, you got everything just right, right nearby here. While smallmouths can be caught on Eastern Lake Erie during the entire open water season, some of the very best fishing is during the pre-spawn period. In a typical year, the fishing begins in early May and continues throughout that month into June. Honestly, many of these fish weigh six to seven pounds and the fish are getting bigger every year. You have to experience the fishing to believe it. It's that good and actually getting better. Now, let's head west, across Lake Erie, to one of North America's biggest metro areas, the Detroit-Windsor area on Lake St. Clair. Here again, we find truly exceptional action for giant smallmouths. All right, look at that vegetation in there. Oh, well, you can go look at them today, huh? The same oh, bay. Oh, yeah, nice fish. The same <laughs> bay that yesterday was chocolate milk, huh? <laughs> you couldn't see in that no, water. No, no, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh that's yeah. fun. Way to go. Hey, all right, way that's the way to, to crack way to it open it here out, on Lake huh? St. Clair. You know, it was just last week <sighs> on Lake Erie, and we were talking about how great a drive to fishery yeah. it is. Well, yeah. here we are almost in Detroit, Lake St. Clair, another prime spot for smallmouths oh, yeah. and more. And uh, we're in a shallow bay, and it's a very different type of fishing. And Doug, I'm fishing here with Doug Samsel, who's fished on this lake for decades. It's a great place. And doing place, some isn't it? exploration. Look at that's, that. I think that fish is getting ready to spawn. That fish actually. is full of eggs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pushing toward that 60 degree range. Yep. So we're just pre-spawn fishing here. Yeah. We're not on spawning beds. We're just pre-spawn pre fishing. Go, so, right? Uh, yeah, all right. It's beautiful sweet. day. Let's do it. <laughs> we are. Motors and ponds. Here it is. There we go, that's Doug. A, <laughs> the goby, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's your one. <laughs> there's your St. Clair, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> whoa -hoo. Jumped over the net. There it is. There it's, there's a dandy. Yeah. Now look at that goby that you're throwing there. We're having a bottom look at, up. Look at, the, look at the girth on that fish. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, great. That's a, that's a beauty. Good old St. Clair. One nice thing about St. Clair, smallmouths aren't the only action in town. The lake has one of the best musky populations in North America, and it's no surprise to catch one during a day of fishing for smallmouths. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, that's, that's not right. hardly enough net for this guy. No, that's a, he's a chunk, isn't he? That's a nice musky. There we go. Woo! Good job. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Easy, girl. Sweet. There. There we go. You never okay. know. Lake St. Clair, you never know, right? <laughs> back, back to bass fishing now? Sure enough. There he is. I don't know. All right. Oh, Big one. Yeah. There we go. Nice, nice. Spinner bait horse. <laughs> oh, look at him come out of the water. Isn't that fun? Awesome. This is really... There. This is a treat. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, 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 come on, <laughs> Good job, Doug. Look at that, dude. Boy, this has been oh, a treat fishing this uh, Lake St. Clair. What do you it think? It certainly is awesome. 
St. Clair smallmouth. It's exciting action and uh, great drive through fishery, smallmouth, muskies, really anything you want to catch here.